stores 800 kilobytes using an MFM encoding but formats different from the MS-DOS, Amiga, and Mac Plus formats. With special software it's possible to read C1581 discs on an x86 PC system, and likewise, read MS-DOS and other formats of discs in the C1581, provided that the PC or other floppy handles the 720 kilobyte size format. This capability was most frequently used to read MS-DOS discs. The drive was released in the summer of 1987 and quickly became popular with bulletin board system operators and other users. Like the 1541 and 1571, the 1581 has an onboard MOS technology 6502 CPU with its own ROM and RAM, and uses a serial version of the IEEE 488 interface. Inexplicably, the drive's ROM contains commands for parallel use, although no parallel interface was available. Unlike the 1571, which is nearly 100% backward compatible with the 1541, the 1581 is only compatible with previous Commodore drives. At the DOS level and cannot utilize software that performs low-level disk access. The version of Commodore DOS built into the 1581 added support for partitions, which could also function as fixed allocation subdirectories. PC-style subdirectories were rejected as being too difficult to work with in terms of block availability maps, then still much in vogue, and which for some time had been the traditional way of inquiring into block availability. The 1581 supports the C128's burst mode for fast disk access, but not when connected to an older Commodore machine like the Commodore 64. The 1581 provides a total of 3,160 blocks free when formatted. The number of permitted directory entries was also increased, to 296 entries. With a storage capacity of 800 kilobytes, the 1581 is the highest capacity serial bus drive that was ever made by Commodore, and the only 3.5 inches one. However, starting in 1991, Creative Micro Designs made the FD2000 High Density and FD4000 Extra High Density 3.5 inches drives, both of which offered not only a 1581 emulation mode but also 1541 and 1571 compatibility modes. Like the 1541 and 1571, a nearly identical job queue is available to the user in zero page, providing for exceptional degrees of compatibility. Unlike the cases of the 1541 and 1571, the low-level disk format used by the 1581 is similar enough to the MS-DOS format as the 1581 is built around a WD1770FM-MFM floppy controller chip. The 1581 disk format consists of 80 tracks and 10 512-byte sectors per track, used as 20 logical sectors of 256 bytes each. Special software is required to read 1581 disks on a PC due to the different file system. An internal floppy drive and controller are required as well. USB floppy drives operate strictly at the file system level and do not allow low-level disk access. The WD1770 controller chip, however, was the seat of some early problems with 1581 drives when the first production runs were recalled due to a high failure rate, the problem was quickly corrected. Later versions of the 1581 drive have a smaller, more streamlined looking external power supply provided with them. The 1581 disk has 80 logical tracks, each with 40 logical sectors. The directory starts on 40 thirds. The disk header is on 40 zero, and the BAM resides on 41 and 40 halves. Header contents $00201 TS reference to first directory sector. 02 DOS version. 04 to 13 disk label. 0 Australian dollars padded. 16 to 17 disk ID. 1918 DOS type. BAM contents, $41.00201 TS to next BAM sector. 02 DOS version. 04 to 05 disk ID. 06 IO byte. 07 auto boot flag. 10 FF BAM entries for tracks 1 to 40. BAM contents, 40 halves $00201.00 slash FF. 02 DOS version. 04 to 05 disk ID. 06 IO byte. 07 auto boot flag. 10 FF BAM entries for tracks 41 to 80. Thanks for watching.